So we're still doing the ratio of 4 to 1 to 1 to 1, uh, 4 times more, or uh, the, the 4 is for the finer particles. And we're pouring in 2,500 milliliters, same as the last time, but now it's, now it's at the uh, impermeable surface parking lot. Oh, that's very cool. Look what it did down to the oxbow. Look how this fine settled out. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we got complete scouring out here. <laughs> Especially right here on the outside. And why is that? Why? Why? Because it's hitting the outside of the bend, right? It's coming down. Well, the, the water's channeled to the middle, and so it comes off with the greatest force right here off of the parking lot. Right, and hits that wall, the edge. Yeah. And scours out. I'm not sure why this is here, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we're getting a lot of water coming here, and it probably bounces a little. It's a hydrologic jump. We're yeah, we're getting yeah. <laughs> and we're get, but we're getting. You can see the blue through here, and here, which are kind of the out. This is sort of the outside of those curves. Finer as it swirled, as it floods, it comes in around like this. So this part of the floodplain is the slowest part. I mean, it slows down as, comes, as it circles around and so we get all fine material here. Completely scoured out through here. We got all fine material, just about completely fine material in the uh, Oxbow Lake area. Although it's interesting, right here I can see if I nearest the entrance there's a bunch of large things underneath. You know, the fine is settled on top of it so it settled out at the end. Um, fine material here. And we had material go into the bucket so it, it flushed mm -hmm. it all the way out. Yeah. More so than the previous experiment. Yeah, more so than before. Almost all coarse material in through here looks like. And primarily the medium to coarser material. Okay, anything else?